Hey YouTube, what's up? You know, I'm a big fan of cinema, have been my whole life. When I used to live in California, I would go see a movie pretty much every single week for years and years and years in a row. And uh, when I was raising my son in his teenage years, and we lived together alone in uh, Cornwall, uh, we'd go to the cinema at least once a month, usually three or four times a month, depending on uh, what movies were out, obviously, at the time and available to watch in our little shithole of a town. <laughs> anyway, um, and being a fan of cinema, it, it stands to reason that I do follow the uh, awards season with a little bit of interest, and I'm always particularly interested in the Golden Globes, the BAFTAs, and the Academy Awards, which are coming up on Sunday night. Uh, some years, though, the films that get nominated for Academy Awards uh, can be a little frustrating, and this is one of those years. The two movies that everybody probably already knows have got the most nominations um, are American Hustle with, I think, 10 nominations and Gravity with 9 or 10 or 11, something like that. I can't remember. Now, I've seen both movies in the cinema. Um, in fact, I saw Gravity. It was my very first ever IMAX movie I saw in 3D and IMAX, and it was a visually stunning movie for sure. But in terms of story and uh, overall delivery, I didn't think it was anything particularly special, really. It's a good movie, for sure. But I don't necessarily think there's anything special about it. It's just another Hollywood movie following the sort of Hollywood standard format of movies in its own way, you know. And um, I thought Sandra Bullock, her performance was perfectly adequate, you know, but I don't think an adequate performance merits an Academy Award nomination, much less an Oscar. Um, I mean, for me, when it comes to actors and actresses getting nominations and or awards, it ought to be because the role that they played was particularly challenging uh, for an actor or actress, or unusual in some way. I think in the case of Gravity with Sandra Bullock, she might have got the nomination simply because, you know, she's virtually by herself on screen for 75 or 80 percent of the of the movie and you've got to be a strong actor I suppose to carry that off without making the movie boring I mean other films that might sort of uh, fit into that category from yesteryear would be like uh, I Am Legend with Will Smith and I don't think Will Smith really carried the movie as well as he could have done considering I feel he's a talented actor um, Tom Hanks had cast away 10 years ago or something like that as well, and I, I thought he was fine in that movie, but it wasn't a particularly great movie. But he's alone in that movie for well over an hour. So, you know, I, I do appreciate that it's, um, it's a feat to carry a movie virtually on your own, but I don't necessarily think that merits an Oscar nomination because the character itself uh, I don't think was particularly challenging for someone like Sandra Bullock, who is a good actress. Um, as far as American Hustle goes, Christian Bale is a great actor in general, and I think that uh, he has done other roles which might have deserved an Oscar. Um, but other than his character, uh, I didn't really see a lot of particularly great acting in that movie. I didn't think the movie was especially well directed. Mind you, I didn't think it was poorly directed either. It's just a stock good movie. But I just don't know. I mean, why did these movies get so many nominations? Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just not seeing the, 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 the finesse and the texture of these movies. Uh, maybe it just bypassed me. I mean, I don't really know. But, um, you know, frankly, I, I, I really felt that uh, the movies were just solid, good movies. And I wouldn't say either one of them were particularly great. They were just good. Um, when it comes to Oscars in general, the main reason I like the Oscars is, isn't necessarily because I'm interested in which movies and actors and so on get the accolades, although I am interested in that to a degree. My real interest is in the speeches, because sometimes, uh, every once in a while, someone who receives an award will make a riveting speech, uh, and that's why I like to watch the Oscars. Unfortunately, they never show the Oscars live on TV in the UK. Um, at least not on terrestrial television, and I'm not even sure if they do, if you have Sky or Virgin. I really wouldn't know since I don't have them. 
But uh, so it's very rare since I've moved to this country that I get to watch the Oscars live. Once in a while, I've been lucky enough to uh, watch them on the internet, though. Uh, but that hasn't been for quite a few years. Anyway, what do you think? Am I being too harsh on these movies? Um, also, I'm interested to find out from my viewers uh, what actors and actresses uh, did not get nominated for their performances in movies that you've seen over the past year that you thought should have been nominated. And are there any actors or actresses? nominated this year that you didn't think should have been nominated. Okay, um, one other thing I wanted to say is uh, the main thing, I used, I used to, uh, in fact I still have it somewhere, I used to tr I try to write movies, you know, and I, I, I started a screenplay years ago which I never finished, and the award that I'm always the most interested in is what movie gets best original screenplay. And I think it's kind of a shame that uh, certainly since the year 2000, um, the trend has been getting worse. I mean, it's always been true that there's been adaptations of books and, and so forth um, made into Hollywood movies. But it seems that since the year 2000, there is just this avalanche of movies that are either adaptations of books or uh, remakes of older films or sequels of previous films or uh, film versions of TV shows. There's so few, in, term, in terms of overall Hollywood content, so few movies were written to be movies. And I think that's really a shame. And um, so I am very interested to see what movie gets uh, best original screenplay. That's always something I'm interested in. Um, but what, what is it, do you think the Oscars are just a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, blowhards patting each other on the back? Or do you find the Oscars interesting, you know? And what do you think about the uh, nominees and who should have been nominated, etc.? I'm interested to find out where your heads are at on this. All right, thanks for watching this video. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.